I've had a number of students who've had a problem losing their tool palettes. Things like the layer properties tool palette, the properties tool palette. And what I have on my screen right now is I've got my tool palette so that they are auto hide and anchored to the left or the right. And I tend to anchor four palettes on the left and two on the right. I find it easier to use that way and more convenient. <clears throat> Sometimes, particularly if you're using multiple monitors or if you have a laptop with an external monitor plugged in, sometimes you lose those pallets. I can't duplicate it. I'm just not sure how it happens. But I do know that I've had a number of students who have been unable to find their properties palette or their layer palette when in fact what it is is on, a, an, on an inaccessible part of the screen or some other screen. Sometimes you can find it by just turning all your palettes off and then trying to find something that you can get a hold of over on the left or the right, some little piece that you can grab and pull. If that doesn't work though, I've got a couple of possible suggestions. What I'm going to do is show you with a magnifier the status bar in the lower right hand part of your AutoCAD screen. There's a little gear icon down there. If you hover over it, it says workplace switching, workspace. Um, WS current, w workspace current just indicates that's the variable that controls what the current workspace is. A workspace is just a collection of things like palettes and toolbars to show you um, where those things are and to be able to go back to those arrangements if you want to. If you pick the little down arrow, by default you have a drafting and annotation, 3D basics and 3D modeling and drafting and annotation is current. I have additional ones that I've created so that I can always return to that. So if you've lost your tool palette, one thing to try is this. First, you're probably going to have drafting and annotation selected unless you've created your own. Go to 3D modeling, and then it changes quite a bit as to what it is it looks like. And the only reason you're doing that is so that you can now change back to drafting and annotation. Let me turn off my magnifier now that you've seen that little area. So you'll notice this is not what it looked like when I was looking at my own workspace. I've got one palette open. I've even got this little nav bar, which is worthless if you're doing anything other than 3D. And personally, I think it's worthless there. But you see the command line is floating the way it is by default. This is where AutoCAD was set up by default. Now, at that point, if properties isn't showing, looks like this. Just type typing PR and see if it shows up. If it does, then you can arrange it any way you want. And when you're done, if I were you, I would save a workspace. The advantage of saving a workspace is if something like that happens in the future, I can go back down and say, let's go pick Dan. And now I go back to the workspace settings that I had. The one little weird thing that almost always happens, <clears throat> since I put my command line at the top, I sometimes have to move it in order to get it and in fact, you'll notice just right there that I haven't moved it enough. I've got to move it slightly in order to get it to show up correctly and not be truncated halfway across with the ribbon stuck up there. I'm not sure why that happens, but anyway, you'll see I've got my tool palettes back. If those things don't work, if going back and forth between workspaces doesn't work, type CUI, stands for Customizable User Interface. When you press Enter, you get this dialog box. This is something we spend a lot of time with in the CAD management class, but it's not anything that you should avoid. It's actually fairly easy to use. It just looks a little bit complex. And it may be that you have to open things up. It's possible it'll be closed up like this, be closed up like that. What we want to do is go and to look at the properties of the drafting and annotation default workspace. That's the one you're probably using. We're going to pick it. Go over here on the right after you've selected it. And what we want to do is go down here to palettes. If we go to palettes and open that up, the palette we're looking for is the properties palette or whatever palette it was that you kind of lost track of. So if I oh, customize workplace, then we're going to open this up. So the palette I'm looking for here is the one called properties and it's right there. If I select it, now down here I can set this up in this way and these are changes you're going to have to make. So you probably, it's probably going to say do not change. Just turn that to on, say show. Then go to the next one, orientation, and make sure it's set to floating. Allow docking, set that to no. Auto hide, turn that on. And when you're done, pick OK. Now you just modified that workspace. 
And if you go over here to the workspace and select it again, you should, I think I picked the wrong one, did I? Yeah, you should, once you selected before, you should have the properties palette turned on. And at that point, you can decide what to do with it. If you pick the little icon right there, you can say you want to allow it to dock. If you allow it to dock or you want it to auto hide, you allow it to dock, it means you can drag it over here and do that which is probably the problem that you had to begin with. And then if you want to do um, other things like anchor at left, which is what I have mine done as, you can drag that off of here like this. Go back to that little icon and say anchor left, auto hide. And if I have anchor left and auto hide, now it sits over here and if I hover over it, it comes out. Try that. If that doesn't work, let me know. I think one of those tricks is going to work to get it back for you. I'm going to go back to the one I had set up my name on it. And once again, you'll see that there's this one little weird glitch in AutoCAD where it doesn't quite go back to what I want until I shift it a little bit and now it does.